Hello everyone, this is Siddharth and in this video we will be solving another question from the list that I have shared in the starting of this playlist. So if you don't know, uh, uh, I am making a playlist on my YouTube channel where I will be solving all those questions which are related to each other so that we can able to build pattern and not memorize those questions. So if you try to solve the previous question then you will be able to get intuition for the next problem as well. So that's why we are making this playlist. So and I would suggest that you can start solving the question from the hash one uh, question that I have shared and I have made the full documentation of this playlist on my github account as well you can check it out from there now let's start solving this question as well that is last substring in lexicographical order so in this what we have to do we have to find that last substring which will uh, which is the last one in the lexicographical order or in the dictionary order so let me tell you s is equals to a b and a b is our string now total possible substrings are a then b and then a b a a b a b and then b a because there is no b a okay so this is the case now if you will uh, count for the two ones then the, the, that will going to be a B also we haven't included A B. So if you try to sort them in lexicographical order, so first A will come, then B will come, and then it A B will come, then B A will come, and then and also A B A and B A B. So this B A B will come in the end. So this is the last one. Now if you will try to see then the last this does uh, this greatest greatest uh, character that is B is coming in the last and this is the concept that we have to use to solve this question as well. So now and we have to return this also. So how we will be solving this if you try to think. Uh, then uh, we can do one thing that we can make two pointers obviously we will be using this because currently we are on two pointer approach so first i is pointing to this and j will be pointing to this and now we will make another pointer that is k and that will count if the character are same then we can increment this so that we can skip them so if the if we encounter the character greater than the previous one then we will move our i to here and j to here so that we can able to get this i to that character index which will going to be the highest one because that's what our case is and we have to take the i value as maximum one so that we can efficiently count the greatest maximum severity length so now if you will encounter this then in this case if the character is smaller than the previous one then we have moved our i value to here and j value to here if the value at j index is smaller then we just move our j and if j plus 1 n will become less than n then we will move out from our loop and we will return uh, the substring starting from this i index will be which will be pointing to the greatest character so this is the concept that we will be using now let's code it out as well so first what we have to do we have to make our pointer i is equal to 0 then j will be pointing to 1 and k will be the count of k will be 0 in the start now we just have to start in for loop while j plus n n is less than the value of sorry j plus k is less than the value of n then what we have to do first we have to check if s dot care at index and let's define the length of the string as well so in n is equals to s dot length okay so if the s dot caret index that is i plus k so we have to keep uh, track of k value because if we are encountering the similar element then we have to increment i value with it so that we can check for the new element so if i plus k is equals to is equals to s dot care at index 
um, j plus k if this is the case then we have to increment the k value because we have encountered the same element and in the else if condition what will be there if s dot care at index i plus k is less than s dot care at index uh, j plus k so if this is the case if we have encountered this uh, the greater element at j index then what we have to do uh, we have to take that in, in the index into our i value so for that we can use i is equals to math dot max of i plus k i plus k plus 1 and then j so that we can efficiently count the value of i and then we can move after moving our j pointer we can do j is equals to i plus 1 and we can set k is equals to 0 because we have as there is no as we have move our i value to the new a new group then we have to make the duplicate count to 0 and in the else condition what we have to do we have to move our j value because in this case the character that we encounter is smaller than then we have to increase the window length so j will become uh, uh, what we have to do we have to increment this j value by 1 so this is going to be j plus plus and k we will set it to 0 and uh, and this j what we have to do we have to update it with the value uh, that will going to be j is equals to j plus plus this we can do and in the last we just have to return as dot substring and it will be starting from the value of i so this is what we have to do now we can try to run this Okay, so all the test cases have been processed. Now we can submit it as well. So we have successfully solved this question. See you in the next video. Bye.